Tommy Runyon with Maryville Livestock. Had a nice run yesterday, uh, around 600 head. <clears throat> Several nice green cattle yesterday. We had a short load, 812 pound uh, feeder steers, uh, bring 240 and a quarter. Uh, a few other little deals about the same weight. Uh, finished the deal off really nice. Uh, had some 858 weight steers, uh, 230 and a half. Uh, then had some nice green light cattle, some little 504 pound steers, 315. Uh, on the heifer end, we had a real nice uh, set of home raised cattle with really good condition, green, long yearlings. Uh, weighed 648, brought uh, heifers, 648 at uh, 265. Uh, the lighter end, uh, the heifers there at 558 at 269. Uh, some light, much lighter heifers at 493 at 282. You know, you might look at that and think, well, why didn't those 558s bring you that much more than the uh, than the 650 weights? Well, this time of year, you know. Uh, going to the Flint Hills, <clears throat> it kind of takes an animal to really weigh about six and a quarter and up to really fit their needs up there uh, versus, uh, you know, these lighter cattle, which, you know, historically you'd think would be higher uh, than their than their bigger uh, brothers or sisters. It's just uh, what fits right now for the forage available. Anyway, the uh, cow and bull market continue to be really good. I believe we called it just a hair lower. Uh, but on the good ones, it was hard to see it. Uh, you know, really proud of our run this week, uh, especially during planting. Good to see the moisture around. The high winds didn't help. Uh, we uh, had our own hay barn blown away uh, in the winds the other night, but uh, that's all right. We'll, we'll get a top back over and start again. We'll see you all next week. Thank you.